Clearview, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's your favorite health teacher, Mr. Tuck. Um, and today I get the opportunity to read to you a story. The name of this story is going to be Olaf's Night Before Christmas by Jessica Jules. Hopefully you enjoy. Twas the night before Christmas and all through the house. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Stockings were hung by the chimney, but why? Had they gotten too wet? Were they left there to dry? Elsa was sleeping, all snug in her bed, while glittering northern lights danced overhead. Anna snored softly while I counted sheep, settling myself for a cozy night's sleep. When out on the fjord, there arose such a clatter. I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I tumbled and rolled. I pushed out the shutters and burned. It was cold. A full moon was out and it lit up the night while snow flurries made the world sparkly and white. Then grabbing an icicle, what did I spy? Eight little spins flying high in the sky. The spins spoiled a sleigh, there was someone inside. Could Finn and Kristoff be out for a ride? Straight toward the castle, the flying sled came. While the man, was it Kristoff? called out some strange names. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer, and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the turret and over the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. He sounded so funny. Who was this big guy? What was a turret and how could sins fly? And then, with a ringing, I heard on the roof the thumping and bumping of each little hoof. Then from behind me, there came a strange sound, and the whole chimney shook as two feet hit the ground. His boots were all black and his pants were all red, but where was the rest of them, and where was his head? Then out of the fireplace, the man's face appeared. He had kind, crinkly eyes and a fluffy white beard. Kristoff, he wasn't. The man smelled too nice, like snowballs and cookies and Christmassy spice. He placed a large bag filled with gifts on the floor. Was a sale going on at Old Aiken's st big store? He brushed off his clothes, then began to unpack, pausing for crumb cake left out as a snack. The stranger had presents for Anna and Sven, for Krista, for Elsa, for all of my friends. I reached for his coat and gave two little tugs and said, my name is Olaf and I like warm hugs. He turned with a start, then let out such a giggle. I had to laugh too when I saw how he jiggled. He gave me a hug, such a wonderful gift. Then he rose up the chimney, all lively and swift. And I heard him call out as he flew out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. the end hopefully you enjoyed that story um and hopefully you have a great weekend i don't know how to have like that so how about this how about everybody else who's watching on the count of three how about you give one big clear view wolf pack how okay one two 
three. See y'all later.